Gale calls the lemons for nothing. Mill Creek murals, second to none. The positive responses generated by the murals on display in the city of Erie did not go unnoticed by townships in Erie County. Mill Creek Township officials were the first to try to emulate the success achieved by an Erie Arts and Culture organization. Erie Arts and Culture helped acquire internationally known artists for the well-received projects. The Mill Creek Arts and Cultural Council, under the direction of Frida Warhol, traveled through the thoroughfares of Erie in a heroic attempt to admire the murals created by Manolo Mesa, Ronaldo Leander, Raphael Gerlach. Their murals are satisfactory. They're better than the billboards in Wesleyville. The Arts and Culture Council searched high and low for artists capable of creating art images that would illustrate the quality of life experienced by the confined residents of Mill Creek Township. We concentrated on the lowbrow during our quest for artistic integrity. Our benefactors demanded the best, and we at Arts and Culture Council met their pain in the ass demands. Aspen-based artist Annie Wilkes brought pain and suffering to life in her touching mural illustrating the atmosphere of wellness and health associated with the LeCom Medical Fitness and Wellness Center at 5401 Peach Street. Bringing this art to the forefront was a difficult process for me. It almost hurt more than breaking a leg. The Arts and Culture Council hired the clean artist Lucretia Ratchet of Insignia to produce the inspiring mural on display above the entrance to Mill Creek Community Hospital. It is a fabulous depiction of the tender loving care received by the very fortunate patients imprisoned at the world-renowned hospital. The attractive mural puts potential Mill Creek Community Hospital inmates at complete ease when they enter the building. Ratchet, a former nurse, drew upon her extensive experience in the mental health field to initiate her art process for the mural. The demeanor of our patients after their successful treatment will be forever etched in my mind. It is absolutely amazing how a full frontal lobotomy enhanced the world of patients despite their extremely limited abilities. Mill Creek Mall Merchants reached out to Arts and Culture Council for assistance after viewing the thought-provoking art desecrating the two LECOM medical buildings. Once again, Arts and Culture Council faced a daunting task of selecting the perfect artist, and once again, they were up to the task. Their search led them to the city of Big Apple and artiste extraordinaire Coco Armani. The hiring went so well that Warhol got to know Armani on a first name basis. Coco's art illustrates the dramatic mix of urban glamour and rural sensibility. In Boscoff's, whether their management knew it or not, was the ideal location for Coco's iconic art. Mill Creek Mall visitors cannot help but notice a classic artwork on display above the entrance to the high-end Boscoff boutique as they circle the mall looking for a handicapped parking space. It was my heart's desire to capture the perfect balance of Big Apple chic and country bumpkin style. I knew I would only have one crack at apprehending it, and I truly believe that I apprehend the Madonna balance I was so desperately seeking for. The outside mall of Office Max was undoubtedly the best canvas available for art in Mill Creek Mall. A long expanse of wide open space appeared to be a mirrorless fantasy come true. Office Max management told the Art and Culture Council they wanted a mural that represented the lifestyle of its customers. Warhol told Sharp Elbows News. An artist immediately came to mind when contemplating the lifestyle of Office Max clientele. Chicago-based artist Christy Gucciani. Gucciani has been illustrating a wide variety of scantily clad lifestyles throughout her, it's, I cannot read this, 
Like, there's no way this is going to come out of my mouth. Mm -hmm. well, go <laughs> I'm trying you, really hard. No, no, get what you get to come out then, okay? okay? Make it work for you. One artist immediately came to mind when contemplating the lifestyle of Office Max clientele, Chicago-based artist Christy Gucciani. Gucciani has been illustrating a wide variety of scantily clad lifestyles throughout her wide career. <laughs> The captivating image painted by Gucciani literally attracts one to a lifestyle of leisure and good taste. It was my full intent to actualize a desirable image that would entice my admirers to fantasize about enjoying life as it should be. Gucciani said, fuck. <laughs> it was my full intent to actualize a desirable image that would entice my admirers to fantasize about enjoying life as it should be. There isn't anything more inviting than a pair of skis in an unused Ben Franklin stove. We are proud to counter the male-only artist selection process favored in Erie arts and culture. It is time to end the male domination of the Erie art world. The Mill Creek Arts and Culture Council starts selecting display sites for the next series of street art murals January 1st, 2020. Just go straight to hell because I want